All right, the only thing left is zip it up and be able to use it and Naomi in the normal game without having the engine window open. So what you do is uh, you go into your files where I have everything stored and then we have that's our character. So you will go to Ranger uh, and then here where it says characters, this is where our files go. I have these linked in the description. Once you have them downloaded, you put them right into your Ranger folder next to characters. And you have to just adjust a little bit. So you just, the metadata file, very important, without it, it crashes. Everything you have to replace, I marked with capital letters, right? So this should be your character, right? I'm gonna call it Ranger, friendly name, Ranger. This is just like a more, uh, a longer name. You could do like Ranger, the Mist Warrior or whatever. And up here, that should be just a straight up name. Description. Just a basic tutorial character using a bow. Author, this should be you. And then ID, just has to be some kind of unique ID. If you want to, what most people do, they just smash the keyboard like this and there you go. Requires char loader, this is important because the way we set it up, we need the character loader. Basically every character uses it, so yeah, there you go. So we save that. Now we open up the character select and here we need to change uh, the name and the path. So the name would just be Ranger and the path, we just right click our scene again, copy path, we just paste that in and save it. Now we can go to mod main. On mod main, you also just need the path to the character select phone. So this will just be underline Ranger, oh, Ranger. And that should be it. We also save that. All right, now we have all the mod setups done. Now, because the way we set it up from the very start, it's very easy to make a zip. You just right click Ranger, add to archive. If you have a WinRAR, make sure it is a zip file. RAR files don't work. I'm just gonna call it Ranger without underline. Did I press okay? Yeah, it's right here. It's 28 kilobytes, very small. Now, how to put it in your game. You right click the game on Steam, manage, browse local files, uh, it opened here, and then you have a folder called mods. And in here, um, you can ignore this, this is just some work in progress stuff. You just drag and drop the ranger in there, and now we're just gonna start it via Steam, and let's hope it works. Play game. So this should already be really strongly modded, but that's fine, it just kind of checks even more how good it works. And we go to Ranger, and it's here. And then we can click it, you have to wait until it loads in. And then play against, I don't know, Cowboy, it's also modded, everything is modded in here, I'm sorry. And there you go, we have our attack, and we have our shot. And that's how you do a very basic character.